Okay, welcome everybody. We are about to start our yin flow today. I hope you're all having excellent Saturday wherever you are on the planet. Um, if you are enjoying the wonderful uh, concert that's been going on since this morning, please still indulge um, and maybe breathe a little bit with us. If you are joining us today, most important is to remember, keep your breath flowing, honor your edge, honor your body. Um, if you have any kind of medical things that you are aware of, stay fully aware of those because I am not able to be there with you at the moment um, and have some fun with this. It's Saturday, it's yin yoga. Add some oils and spice to your uh, workout if you want to. So let's begin our practice in an easy seat. So you wanna come down on your mat, so depending on where you find your comfort, you can have your legs crossed, you can come into full or half lotus. Wherever you are in your seated position though, we wanna peel the flesh away. So we're just gonna put those sit bones, root them down into the mat. And you wanna kind of really engage with that concept every time that you are in this pose. Stay rooted, stay tall, allow the crown of your head to lift as if there's a little string of light pulling you up. Elongate the spine and naturally the belly begins to float in and out. Begin to close the eyes and just let your breath flow natural. Don't try and control anything. It might happen at this time that the corners of the mouth gently rise. As this happens, the muscles in the face naturally relax. All those little worry and furrows melt away. Bring your awareness and attention to the lips. With each exhalation, feel the breath now warm and vibrant with your own energy flowing out. Taking a deep sip through the nostrils. Exhale, release. Feel perhaps a little tremble on the lips, a little energy as the wind passes through. As the crown of your head floats even higher, allowing your spine and cage to elongate. Deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, maybe sighs you release. Place your right hand, then your left over your heart. Thumbs touch. Roll the shoulder blades back and down the spine. Keep yourself elongated. Bring your awareness and attention to your beautiful beating heart. As you take a deep drink of air through the nose and exhale, release. And as you keep the breath flowing, find that connection between the inhale and the exhale with your heart beating in your hands. As you acknowledge your presence and you give your body thanks and praise for being here today on the mat.
And it is here that your stepping stone shall reside within your beating heart, stepping out into a new journey as you begin your practice, as you set an intention for the rest of your day, for each breath that we share during this session. Now seal the lips gently, creating that oceanic current in the back of the throat. Breathing deep through the nostrils, exhale, steam it back out through the nose. This is called an ujjayi breath, ocean breath. If you imagine that you're trying to steam up a mirror in front of your face while keeping the lips sealed, you'll be able to hear that sound in the back of your throat. It acts as a natural current. It regulates the flow of emotions, oxygen and blood flow. So take another deep breath in and exhale through the nose, feeling the heartbeat now in tune with the universe around you, slow and steady. Begin to release the hands down to the knees. Bring the awareness and attention now to the space between the eyes. We're going to focus on a rich purple light today. Let it stimulate and bring focus to our creativity, our hopes and our passions. Let that light start guiding as it glows brighter and stronger with each inhalation. And as you exhale, sharing those hopes and creativity with our session today. And when you're ready, join me as we open our eyes. And we're gonna take a deep inhale, gently arching the back, send the shoulder blades back. As you exhale, hollow out the back, drop the chin to chest. Let's stay with that ujjayi breath, keeping the lips sealed. Slow, powerful movements as we warm up the spine. Breathing deep in, reach the gaze up, send that heart center out. As you exhale, hollow the back, chin to chest. Try and bring that lower back down to the mat. Inhale, breathing deep. And exhale, release. Three more breaths. One more deep breath. As you exhale, hold here, hollow that back out. Let's start a circle pattern around. Again, making sure your sit bones are still rooted deep into the mat. Start to roll through the shoulders. Really engage that core, slow movements as you come all the way around. And try and see if one full breath can follow that one rotation. And when you've come back to center, reverse the circle and float to the other side. One more full breath in rotation. And come back to center, roll the shoulders up and release, little sips of air.
Two more breaths. Shh. Shh. Release. Roll the shoulder back again. And forward. And let's inhale, reach those arms up and overhead, spread the fingers out, roll the shoulder blades back down the back. Let's start pumping that fire light down the arms. Let's reach the gaze up, big lion's breath here. Pump those hands even faster. Let's see if we can get some of that juicy blood flow and oxygen down into those toes. Keep that lion's breath. Let all those toxins and unserving energies drip out the tongue. Keep pumping. You should feel that firelight coursing through the arms. So if you ever tired during the middle of the day, stand up tall and pump a little firelight through the body. It'll definitely bring some heat and energy very quickly. Three more breaths. Two more. And one more deep breath. Keep pumping and exhale. And swing those wings back and down. Let's bring the bottoms of the hands to the sides of our body here and just stretch, roll the shoulders back, heart center floats up. Give those hands and wrists a little bit of love, pushing them into your beautiful sides. And as you're doing this, as you exhale, extend both legs out in front of you. So flexing the feet so those toes reach the ceiling. I'm just going to turn here. We're going to inhale, reach those wings high up above you. Take those two peace fingers, extend as you elongate, and drop the body down towards the toes. Now you can modify this if you're using yoga blocks or books. You can rest them here. Make sure the crown of your head is reaching outwards. Toes are flexed. If your peace fingers do reach those toes, guide yourself down towards the feet. Elbows come out. One more deep breath in as you exhale, release the hands, walk yourself back up, smooth the spine out. Inhale, draw that left knee in towards the chest and drop that left foot to the outside of the right leg. The toes should be just in line with the top part of your knee. We're gonna inhale both arms up and overhead, your sit bones stay flat. Let's hold here, flex that front foot. As you exhale, drop that left palm behind you and just kind of guide yourself so you keep that nice, strong, straight alignment. Front toe staying flex. As you exhale, bring that right elbow down on the knee. Just above the knee, excuse me, not on the knee. We wanna go about four inches above the knee and twist and turn, looking over the left shoulder. Keep the body nice and tall. And since we're here, we're really twisting through our digestive system. Let's steam it out using a nice, powerful breath, like shh. Shh. Keep yourself strong and tall, using guidance from that left hand. Twist and turn. Three more breaths. Two more. 
core, strong and powerful. Twist out those toxins. And one more deep breath. And release. Extend that left foot to meet the right once again. Inhale, reach those wings up and overhead. Elongate the body, exhale, draw yourself down. Now we wanna cross at the wrist. Bring the hands down to the outsides of the feet if you can, or drop the hands down. Use your blocks or your books if you need to. Honor your body. Remember to keep breathing, most important. While you're down here, you can also give your little toes a little massage if you'd like. Cross the hands on the other side. And on your next exhale, release the hands. Start to walk them back towards the body. Roll your shoulders back. We're gonna inhale, bring that right foot now on the opposite side of the left knee. Again, elongate the spine, flex that front foot. Inhale, reach both arms up and overhead. Keep those sit bones planted in the mat. As you exhale, drop that right arm behind you and drop that left elbow and twist into the move. Again, really utilizing that power breath as you steam it out here. Gaze up and over the right shoulder. Three more breaths. Two more. And one more strong breath. Gently come back to center. Both palms now on either side of the sit bones. Extend those feet now flat on the mat. About mat, about hips distance apart. We're gonna bring the hands back behind the sit bones. Roll the shoulder blades back. We're gonna inhale, lift those hips sky high, come into your reverse tabletop. Now you wanna make sure here that your feet are flat, your palms are flat on the back. Keep the navel engaged, ujjayi breath. If you want to add a little spice, you can lift those legs up straight one at a time. Keep the arms straight and even balanced. We've got five breaths here. Slow and powerful. Pick those hips up. Three more breaths. Almost there. You should feel a little fire light in the arms now again. And slowly exhale. Drop those sit bones down. Bring one knee into the chest at a time. Give yourself a nice hug here. And let's bring those legs up 90 degrees. Shoulder blades back, heart center comes forward. You can add that little bit of spice and heat if you want, extending the legs up to be, extending the arms up. Honor yourself. We're still using that beautiful Ujjayi breath. Point those toes. Smile on the face can definitely help. We're dancing to music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
We've got five more breaths. Draw that navel in. Four more breaths. Two more. You're almost there. And on your next exhale, slowly lower the leg. Find that golden rope and lower the body down. Connecting one vertebrae at a time. Extend those wings up and over. Stretch the leg. Slight arch in the back. And bring the lower back down to the floor. Draw the left knee into the heart center. Extend that left arm out, palm facing down. And twist over to the right side, gaze to the left. Really start to breathe into the side here. Two more breaths. And gently come back to center. Both knees come in. Give yourself a little hug. Rock side to side. Let's give those kidneys a little massage. On your next exhale, extend that left leg out. Flex the foot, keep that right knee in. Right arm out to the side, palm and shoulders down. And twist to your left, gaze to your right. Two more breaths. And gently come back to center. Again, roll out the back through the spine. And let's rock up into an easy seated posture, cross at the ankles once again. And let's roll over to our tabletop. Now again, important things when you're in tabletop, we want to draw that navel in towards the back. Bring the hands to shoulder distance. Keep them flat, fingers spread, back of the feet flat, nice flat back. And let's hold here, we'll smooth out the spine. On your next exhale, we're going to draw that right leg out behind us. Make sure your hips are even, your anchors, your tripods, meaning your arms are even. We don't want you to bend on one side. Equal balance. So as we exhale, we're going to steam it in. Drop forehead to the knees. Exhale, release it back out. On your next inhale, draw it to the side and flex the foot to the opposite wall. Inhale back to center and start... Trinity over again. Exhale. Inhale back out. Inhale to the side and exhale. Bring it back in. Let's keep this nice and slow and powerful. Again, honor your edge. One breath for each movement of the leg. Two 
Two more breaths. One more. And bring that knee back to the mat. Let's come back on our sit bones. Stretch those arms out. Come up on the fingertips. Drop the head. Drop the palms, walk them back towards the body. Come back to tabletop. Find your center, create your anchors and your tripod. Bring that right knee towards the center. As you exhale, extend that left leg back, point the toe. Inhale as you exhale, draw the knee forward. Try and touch that forehead, hollow out the back. Inhale, as you exhale, flex that foot, bring it around to the side, swing it back to center. Start your trinity here. One breath for each fluid movement. So while you're flowing through, imagine a beautiful, rich indigo light starting to wash over your body. Bathing you, rejuvenating you, allowing you to feel your creativity, your joy, and your hopes. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Come back, bring that knee down, spread them out to the edges of your mat. Come back to your sit bones, reach the arms out in front, drop the forehead. Ah, maybe sigh as you release. And just gently walk the hands and the body over to the left side. You'll feel a nice stretch through the cages on the right here. Keep the body low to the ground, the head falling. And slowly inhale as you come back to center. Exhale, release to the right side. Let that left cage open wide. And inhale, come back to center. Let's bring the palms down, come back to tabletop. Let's curl those cute toes, lift the hips sky high, push off with the hands, come into your first downward dog. Adjust as needed. Give the head a little shake. Push off, make sure your hands are flat, your fingertips are spread wide. Draw the navel in towards the lower spine. Inhale, lift that right limb sky high, point the toe. Reach the gaze up and under the right arm. On your next exhale, swing that right foot forward between the fingers. We're going to stay on the ball of that back foot. As we inhale, lift the arms sky high, open up the heart, pinkies turning in. And let's use that sound breath where we feel that vibration throughout the heart center like H-A. 
Now, while you're in a lunge, you want to make sure that back leg is straight, nice and tall. You don't want to sink. You want to keep it strong and tall. That front foot, you want to make sure it's flat. And you want to try and scissor those thighs and it actually protects your lower back and helps you remain balanced. Or so they say. And breathing. Don't forget to breathe so I know you're alive still. So. Three more breaths. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, we're going to bring those palms down. Bring that right hand on the inside of that right foot and just wiggle and walk that right foot out to the edge of the mat. We're going to soften to that left knee, to the back of the left foot. We're going to square the heart towards the center. Feel a nice stretch here. Those who want to add that little bit of spice, you can come down on your forearms. You can create a little pillow with your fists. Whatever you have, if you have your yoga block. And just gently, we're going to take that right hand and just start pushing slightly on that right. Just inside of the thigh, above the knee. You should feel a nice stretch here. Reach the gaze up and over the right shoulder. So you'll be rolling onto that foot, the right foot, so you'll be able to see the bottom of your foot. Stay on the left knee and the left shin. You want to add that spice, you can draw that left foot in towards the sit bones, take hold. But again, honor your edge wherever you are. Three more breaths. One more deep breath. If your foot was up, gently drop it. Drop that left foot. Curl that back leg. Bring the body up. Draw that right back. Join me in your first plank. That should feel really good. Adjust yourself as needed. Draw the navel in. Flat back. Reach the gaze just above where your top of the mat is. And slowly exhale, come back to downward dog. Beautiful. And let's pedal the feet so we can walk that dog a little bit. Draw the knees in slow. Reach the gaze up and under the arms. Come back to center. Bring that right foot towards the center as you exhale. Bring that left leg sky high. Point the toes. Reach the gaze up and under the left arm. Keep the breath flowing. Press off with the hands. And to exhale, we're going to draw that left foot now forward between the fingertips. Find your strength in the back right leg. Keep it sky high. Draw the navel in. Find your balance as you bring those wings up. Turn the pinkies in. Scissor the thighs. Draw that navel and feel the lift. Ushai breath. 
Bring that heartbeat back down. Control your breath. Three more breaths. And one more deep breath in as you exhale. Bring those wings back down, palms come down. Left hand on the inside of that left foot and walk it to the edge of your mat. Soften to the right knee and to the right foot. Sink a little further into your lunge, making sure that front knee never goes over the big toe. Spicy people, add a little forearm stretch or use your yoga block or book if you'd like. There's a lot of wine books that I haven't opened in a very, very long time. I could probably be using those. <laughs> And gently start to push into that left leg. Left foot comes up slightly, reaching the gaze up and over the left shoulder. So your heart center is sending out a little bit of love. Let's use that sound breath, big HA. Really feel it throughout your whole core. <sighs> Corners of the mouth rising again. <sighs> As you remember your creativity and your hope. Two more breaths. Again, adding that spice if you want. You can take hold of that back foot. Honor your edge. And last inhale, drop that foot down, lift that back leg, lift the body, and join me in your plank. Beautiful. On your next exhale, draw that right knee in between the thumbs. And we're just going to turn, so we drop that back left foot, and we're going to inhale, reach that left arm sky high. Reach the gaze towards the left middle finger. Really lift the hips up here. If you want to add some spice for five more breaths, you can start to twist, bring that right arm underneath the right shoulder. Nice, smooth, strong, swings through like you're threading the needle. Make sure you're not falling or rolling off that front knee as you do so. Or just hold here, three more breaths. One more breath. And exhale, release that hand down. Let's curl that back foot, draw the right back to meet the left, and exhale, join me in downward dog, adjust as needed. <sighs> Inhale as you reach the gaze forward. Exhale, draw that left knee towards the center of the thumbs. We're going to drop that right foot. Inhale as you exhale, lift the body, lift the hips up. Fingertips facing forward. <laughs> And if you want to add that little bit of spice, 
Start threading the needle underneath that left arm. Make sure you don't bend that front arm. Keep it nice and strong. Anchor it down. Two more breaths. My little yin warriors. Beautiful. Let that arm float down. Bring both knees together. Sit back on your sit bones. Let the spine smooth out. Take a deep sip of air. All that juicy, rich indigo energy flowing through your body. Inhale, lift the body, elongate the arms. Try and find your fun balance here. If you want, find a focal point on the mat or the floor. We call that dristana. Then you're gonna curl the toes under. Try and stay on the balls of your feet as long as possible. Try and keep the legs together. And you're just gonna rock yourself up. Come into your chair pose. Uttakasana. Turn the pinkies in towards one another. Gaze goes upwards. Booty comes in and sink a little lower. Let's use that ujjayi breath. Really feel your roots down on the mat, meaning your feet. Two more breaths. Sink a little deeper if you can. Make sure those knees are even. One's not popping out. I'm trying to raise the other. And inhale, elongate. Palms together. Exhale, forward fold. You can have a bend in the knees. Drop the arms. Let the head drop. Maybe let it shake side to side. Back and forth. Again, bend in the knees as you inhale, reach those wings up and overhead, palms come together, point those fingers into the sky, feet together, thighs together, stay connected here, and we're going to float to one side as we Exhale, reach the gaze up, and inhale slowly through the center, and exhale, drop to the other side. Maybe close the eyes, really play with your balance. Find yourself rooting even deeper and further into the earth. Using that core as you draw the body back to the center. One more breath on each side. Beautiful. Release. Roll out the wrist. Give them a little bit of love. Let's bring the feet out a little further, maybe off the mat. Point them about 45 degrees. Inhale, elongate, exhale, draw those wings back behind you. Place them on the back. Lower back so your elbows try and touch one another. It's like you're pushing your pelvic floor forward, your heart center shooting out. And as you exhale, slowly lower the body forward. Nice flat back here, holding here. Extend the arms out. Try and get those arms connected to the ears, shooting out little bits of fire energy. Keep the navel drawn in. Be 
Beautiful. And exhale, forward fold. Palms, if they can, come down to the floor. Adjust as needed. We're going to start walking the body out. Come up on the tippy toes. Heart center up and over the fingertips. As you exhale, steam it back. Walk the hands back into the body. Again, walk it out. And steam it back. Shh. Maybe each time you come back in with the breath, moving the hands in a little closer each time to the body. Dropping that head. Two more breaths. And exhale, steam it in. Hold here, let the head drop. And if you can, reach your hands out. Place the palms of the hands flat down or on your books. If that's a little too much, put them on the outside of your shins. Let the head drop. Let a little blood and oxygen flow. Reach in. Headstanders, go ahead and take your headstand. And place that left palm in the center, fingertips spread, facing forward. Lift the heart center up, nice flat back. As we exhale, big HA, swing that arm all the way back and around. Follow the gaze, switch it out, and follow that left arm. Make this slow and powerful. Use one breath for one rotation. One more breath on each side. Beautiful. Let's walk those feet back to shoulders, distance apart, forward fold. You can have a slight bend in the knees if you want. Take opposite sides of the elbows and ragdoll swing. And bend in the knees. We're going to slowly lift the body up. Wings come up and exhale. Come back down to your sides. Let's bring that left foot grounded into the mat. Bring that right knee up 90 degrees here. Use your balance with your hands if you want, palms facing upwards. Now you can hold here, feeling that nice connection, the rod going to the center of the earth. You can start swaying that hip around. Point the toe. One breath for one rotation. Let's ujjayi breath, seal the lips. Draw the navel in. If you come out of it, just go right back in. It's just like every day. And reverse the circle. One more full rotation. Come back to 90 degrees. And we're just going to turn that right leg out. You can guide yourself with your hand. For those that want to add that little bit of spice, your peace fingers can take that leg, that toe, excuse me, and extend that leg straight out.
Three more breaths. Two more, almost there. One more deep breath in and slowly bring that leg forward, back to 90 degrees. You're doing great, hold it here. <sighs> Wonderful. Let's exhale, we're gonna slowly start to bring those palms down towards the mat. That back foot is gonna swing behind us Dropping those hands down to the mat. The floor is going to catch you. Spread the hands and draw that right leg sky high once again. Point the toe. And exhale. Right comes down to meet the left. Walk the hands in towards the feet. Keep the head dropped. We're going to lift one foot at a time and put our hands underneath. So you want to have the back of the, the foot on the bottom of the hand, the big toe reaching inside that wrist, and press into the hands while you're pulling back. Keep the breath flowing. Bend at the knees if this is too much for you. Honor your edge. And exhale, slowly release one hand at a time. Inhale, reach those wings sky high. Palms together, come down to your heart center and gaze upon those beautiful fingertips. Inhale, as you ground that right foot, lift that left 90 degrees. Find your focal point, root down to the core. Release the hands if you can. Or if you wanna add that spice and heat, you can bring them up high into palm, into prayer. Keep the navel drawn in, ujjayi breath here. And let's start spinning that hip back and around. Remember, keep one breath through full rotation. One side might seem a little more shaky than the other. So it goes. <laughs> if people just talk to my left side all day, I think I'd be okay. It's when they try and talk to my right, things go crazy. <laughs> And reverse the circle. One more full rotation, full breath. Beautiful. Ground yourself in and slowly turn that left knee out. Again, if you want to add that spice and kick, you can take those peace fingers, take hold, and extend that left leg out. Three more breaths. Oh, my hip is telling me you are. Bring it back to center. Come back to 90 degrees. And we're going to slowly start to float down, sending that left limb back behind us. Don't worry, the ground will catch you. Spread those fingers out, lift that leg sky high, point the toes. And exhale, drop that left to meet the right, walk the hands back in. Keep the head floating downwards, peace fingers taking hold of the big toes. And exhale, elongate, draw that crown of the head down, elbows coming out. Two 
Two more breaths. What they see. Not get through to the hungry here. Up to the knee to give. Then release the hands. Bend at the knees. Let's bring those big toes together. Let the ankles float out slightly. And inhale, lift, come up into chair or Uttakasana. Pinky's turning in. Draw the navel in, gaze up, heart center out, Ushayi breath. Knees even. And elongate as you inhale, palms come together, slight back bend, exhale down to your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead and swan dive down. Halfway raise. Exhale, drop the palms, walk or jump the feet back to low plank and start to lower down. Come up for your cobra or upward dog. And exhale, move through your vinyasa back to downward dog. Inhale as you walk the tippy toes up to the hands. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, palms down to your heart center. Inhale and swan dive down, forward fold, halfway raise. Exhale, palms come down again, walk or jump the feet back and move through your vinyasa. Come back to downward dog. And hold here. Carefully take your right hand and just gently reach back, trying to grab your left ankle. If all you want to do is grab your left thigh, go for it, or your left uh, outside of your leg, wherever you'd like to be. Reach the gaze up and under the left arm. And exhale, slowly come down, come over into plank. Little smile on the face. And exhale, steam it back to downward dog. Exhale as you draw that left palm. Try and reach the outside of the angle of the right foot. Keep that front arm planted. And exhale, release. Drop onto the forearms here. Walk the feet in. Try and get those heels down a little further. And slowly exhale, bring the knees down to the mat. Uncurl the toes and come back onto your sit bones. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Smooth out the spine, drop those shoulder blades down the back. Bend that right arm. We're gonna gently take the outside of the right upper arm. Gonna try and walk those fingertips down the back. Inhale, elongate, cross at the wrist, palms come together, arms straight up. And exhale, bend that left arm, fingertips racing down the back. Gently guide with the right hand. You don't want to press on the elbow, just above it. And 
and inhale, elongate the arms, cross at the wrists on the other side, palms come together. And exhale, release, swing those wings back behind you. Clasp the hands, draw the shoulder blades down. If you wanna add a little more spice and intensity, slowly, gently, come forward. Forehead comes down on the mat, bring the arms up and over. And exhale, come back on the sit bones. If you were raised, release the arms, shake them out. Ah, beautiful. And let's gently drop that beautiful head to the left shoulder. Don't try and raise the shoulders, just gently float to that side. Inhale through the center. And exhale, drop to the right. Inhale back through the center. Exhale, slowly roll the neck up. Let's really try and breathe into the throat. Cleanse those thyroid. One more breath here. Flow back to center through breath and exhale, drop chin to chest. And gazing forward once again, place the palms down. We're just gonna swing our legs forward. Let's bring them out in V formation, about 45 degrees. Flex the toes, sit bones again, firmly planted in. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, turn the body to the left foot. Extend the body out. We're going to take that left hand, take it on the opposite side so it touches the outer wall of that left foot. Really open up the side. Binders can take your binds. And exhale, walk the hands back towards the body. Square the shoulder center. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Turn to the right, flex that foot, extend up and over. Again, left hand now to the outside of the right foot. Binders can take their binds. Slowly exhale, walk the hands back towards center. Turn the body forward. Bring the knees in, give yourself a big hug. Draw the knees back to 90 degrees. Roll the shoulders back. Arms come out, fingertips spread, palms facing one another, point those toes. And again, somebody has dropped that beautiful golden rope from the skies. Let's hold on to it. Let's extend those legs out. Keep them straight. Let's keep them hovering about three inches off the mat. You're holding on. You've got that rope, but it's starting to lower you. It's okay. You've got the rope to hold on to. Let's place that lower back nice and firm. You can feel those kidneys grounding down. Let's keep those shoulders off the floor. 
Hold on to your rope. You're almost there. And if you are shaking, it just reminds you how alive you truly are. If you fall in a little bit, climb that rope. Five breaths, you're almost there. And then you get to drop into a healing waters. Woohoo! Three more breaths. Climb that rope. Climb it. One more deep breath, my beautiful beings. And release the rope. Oh. Let the arms float down to the sides. Let the legs float. Taking deep gulps of air through the nose. And exhale, ah, sigh as you release. Find your savasana. And just for a moment, keep the eyes open. As you gaze upwards, whatever you are seeing, find gratitude for having something to secure you. a roof over your head, security, safety, a place where you can sing, dance, rejoice, be creative. And once again, breathe in and breathe out the hope that you are a glow in now. Gently close the eyes. And as you melt a little deeper into the earth, Allow the spirit and mind to wander. As you are awash in healing waters. The water is gentle, cleansing. Now the breath in tune and flow with these healing waters, rising gentle, falling sweetly. Your attention and awareness on this gradual rise and fall. Beautiful, rich, healing indigo light coursing through the body, filling each cell, pushing blood and oxygen to each organ. As your awareness once again to the space between the eyes. This beautiful purple energy glowing and spinning brighter and stronger.
radiating out through your face. Bringing light and awareness to the mind. As you repeat to yourself, I am beautiful. I am creative. And I am full of wisdom. And as mind and body connect, the spirit whispers in your ears, may you be happy, may you be well, may you be safe, and may you be at peace. So mind, body, and spirit join to become one in these healing waters, which have rejuvenated and cleansed each part of your beautiful body. Your awareness once again to the body's rise and fall. As you gently find yourself supported by Mother Earth beneath you, the corners of the mouth rising gentle. Wiggling fingertips and toes. And as three are now one, excited to renew and restart this day, rolling gently onto one side. Giving the body an embrace and a hug. Giving yourself thanks and praise for being here. for sharing your energy, your joy and creativity. And when you're ready to ignite that, join me in an easy seated posture as we seal our intentions and our practices with three resonating ohms. Oh. for our lives, jobs, families, friends. I ask that we are blessed in peace, harmony, bliss, joy, love, and light. Namaste. Thank you all for joining us today uh, for a little yin yoga. And we've got some juicy color to work with for the remainder of our day. Watermelon. Uh, so watermelon is an extension, of course, of that vibrancy between the reds, the oranges, and such. Um, and it's, it's where you're going to find your grounding and your inner child, somewhere between there, because we lose that sometimes. So focus on finding that for the rest of your day, the rest of your life, whatever it may be. Enjoy yourselves. And tomorrow is another... Uh, 
11 a.m. session of an expressive yoga. So a nice mix between a little bit of heat and juicy intensity and, of course, meditation at the end. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. And I look forward to seeing you all again. Hugs. Thank you.